हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ईजीओ आई बिलीव एवरीथिंग इज ज्योग्राफी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ केस स्टडी ऑन अर्थ क्वेक्स एंड वॉल्केनोज दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ IGCSC Geography 0460 Theme Number Two Natural Environment Chapter Number One Earthquakes and Volcanoes. Now, according to the paper pattern, in Paper One, there will be three questions which you need to answer, <coughs> and every question carries a case study. Question Number Three and four, I mean section number two, comes from the natural environment. That is theme two. So in earthquakes and volcanoes, as chapter one, there are three case studies you need to prepare on earthquakes and three case studies on volcanoes. For earthquake, case study number one, which should be prepared, is causes. of an earthquake with evidence question number 2 is effects and impact of an earthquake with evidences and number 3 is rescue and relief now mostly i have seen that in uh, as far as case studies on earthquakes are concerned causes and effects are very important You should you should know one case study on causes and one on effects and impact at least. On volcanoes, you should be prepared with three case studies. One is the causes, one is the uh, <clears throat> the effects and impact, and third one is the opportunities provided by volcanoes. Right. So right now we are talking about earthquake case study causes. let us look at the question first of all the case study question goes like describe the causes of an of an earthquake which occurred in named area which you have studied use comprehensive and accurate statement including some place specific references so this case study talks about causes of an earthquake occurred in a named area now there is no restriction you can take any earthquake right if you have enough information you can take any earthquake right the earthquake which we are going to learn today i have prepared a case study okay so the earthquake is as you can see over here this is about chile in the rest of the world and in south america it is known as chile okay so it is chile earthquake 1960 22nd of may 1960 there was a massive mega thrust earthquake occurred in one of the city in chile it was valdivia it is also known as valdivia earthquake 22nd may 1960 this is very old but this is one of the greatest earthquake this is called great chilean earthquake of 1960 because of its magnitude the magnitude of this earthquake was 9.4 somewhere you may find 9.6 but 9. Point, anything above 9 point on richter scale is considered as deadly deadliest earthquake so this was one of the mega thrust earthquake the great chilean earthquake which was caused the the impact was more in valdivia the epicenter was in valdivia near valdivia that's why it is also known as valdivia earthquake right at the end of this session before the end of this this class i will also dictate entire case study answer if you wish you can note down word by word okay but before that let us understand that what were the actual causes of this earthquake right so let us see first of all this i am using 
see one more thing i would like to convey here is i don't have interactive smart board i'm using only whiteboard okay i'm using i'm drawing this kind of uh, you know diagrams and maps to make the understanding very easy right now let us see what is there so we are talking about the great chilean earthquake 22nd may 1960 causes fine <clears throat> this is a case study question okay now first of all if we see the area this is south america okay this is south america which is a continent okay and the tectonic plate is south american plate this is south american plate also covers some portion of atlantic ocean on the other side this is pacific plate and antarctic plate pacific plate in north and southern part is antarctic plate right pacific plate is a major plate but pacific plate is broken into some minor plates also so nazca plate is one of the minor plate of minor tectonic plate separated from the pacific plate okay and this is south american plate now one more thing south american plate is a continental plate whereas nazca plate is an oceanic plate it means that one is oceanic one is continental plate right now what is happening over here nazca plate and south american plate i mean oceanic and continental plates are forming a plate boundary on the border of south america this plate boundary formed by south american and nazca plate is known as convergent plate boundary which is destructive right so nazca plate is moving towards the south american plate and south american plate is moving towards the nazca plate so this is how nazca plate is moving towards south america plate and south american plate is moving towards nazca plate actually nazca plate is a minor plate right so nazca plate the nature is nazca plate is moving this way okay is slowly rotating nazca plate is slowly rotating this way okay so from here it moves this way from here it moves down and towards south america it is moving this way okay so this is slowly and steadily rotating okay now whenever a conversion plate boundary form by an oceanic and continental plate you know what happened oceanic plates are denser as compared to the continental plate so what happened a denser object will sink right in front of the lesser denser object so continental continental plate are lesser denser plates whereas oceanic plates are more denser they are heavy so nazca plate is moving towards south american plate which is a continental plate this is oceanic plate so as nazca plate is moving towards south american plate they have formed conversion plate boundary it means that it is forming a subduction zone okay so along the boundary it forms subduction zone what is subducting over here nazca plate is subducting under south american plate right the subduction rate is uh, around 80 mm 80 millimeter 80 80 millimeter per year is the subduction rate right so at 80 millimeter <coughs> rate nazca plate subducts under south american plate every year right now this boundary which you see over here this boundary which is a bit bold this is actually Ch uh, chile okay so chile is this this is chile right the uh, the westernmost boundary of south american continent this is a country right and on it there is a famous fold mountain range the most uh, the famous fold mountain range of south america is andes you can see a n d e s 
Andes Fold Mountain, right? So there is Andes Fold Mountain, and you'll know that if you look at the formation of Himalaya and the formation of Andes Mountain, the process is same. Oceanic plate subducting under a continental plate. However, in Himalayan case, it is little different because Indo-Australian plate is continental plate, right? So there, continental plate is subducting under another continental plate but there was the FEC and that is a different story we are not covering it right now right now we are looking at this uh, uh, the Chilean earthquake only okay so Nazca plate at 80 millimeter per year is subducting under subducting under the South American plate okay and due to that they have formed a conversion plate boundary and there are a lot of fractures along the Andes mountain range along the western coast of Chile, right? So this is Chile, Nazca plate is subducting. Now all these zones which you see here, the markings are the areas where earthquakes are very prominent, okay? Uh, according to the sources, according to various data, there are 123 earthquakes caused in this region. Chile has experienced 123 earthquakes and most of the earthquakes remains above 7 magnitude, right? So this is very active zone, fine. One important thing, this is also, this border is also the part of ring of fire, right? So ring of fire, you know that along the boundary, along the ring of the boundary, volcanoes and earthquakes are very common. Okay, now let us look at the causes. So whenever you write about the causes, whenever you write a case study where you are describing the causes of an earthquake, these are the, the terms which you have to use, like fault lines, movement of tectonic plates, plate boundaries, friction, buildup of pressure, sudden movement or sudden release. This kind of terminology you need to use in your answer, right? So this is actually the causes also, fine. Now, so Nazca plate 80 millimeter per year is subducting under South American plate. In 1960, what happened? The movement become little faster and that's why because of this. So whenever, see, whenever a con uh, oceanic plate subducts under, under uh, this is for example, the oceanic plate is subducting under a continental plate. So what will happen? Because it is denser, so it will go like this way, right? So this way, it will go this way, fine? Now this four, this is the subduction, okay? So subduction is happening over here. Now sometimes the plates also struck like this, okay? So that they locked, okay? And then they release the pressure this way. They lock, okay? But there is movement continuously. The movement is there and that's why they may release. And when they you know, unstruck themselves, there will be greater force generated, okay? So the point from where the force is generated beneath the earth is focus, and the point on the earth surface where the force reached first is called the epicenter, right? So epicenter on the surface, focus inside the earth, right? So this is the same thing happen over here that Nazca plate as form a conversion plate boundary, both the plates, South American and Nazca plate, they struck. And due to that, when they unstruck, the force was released and that has caused earthquake in Valdivia in Chile in 1960. Now this was 9.4 magnitude and it has caused havoc. Definitely 9.4 means you can't uh, imagine anything. Uh, you know, lie on the surface of the earth because it will have bad effect, badly effect, uh, buildings, livestock, human beings, I mean living beings and non-living beings, everything is going to be affected and that has what happened in Chile, okay, in 1960. So first of all, what happened? The fault line, okay? The fault line is, this is the fault line. The red line which you see over here is a fault line. It is part of ring of fire also. Fault line means two plates, two plates 
okay either they are moving away they are passing by each other or they might be moving towards each other but at the boundary the both the plates will have boundary and that boundary is called the fault line so there is a fault line nasa plate in south american plate forms a fault line along chile the entire country okay this fault line is is around 516 mile okay in distance so there is a fault line now both the plates movement of tectonic plates nasa plate and south american plate are moving towards each other forming a convergent plate boundary or destructive plate boundary the third important thing is convergent plate boundary and, dis and destructive plate boundary sometimes they struck also that was that is what happened in 1960 the plate struck and then they released the force which has caused the earthquake and later on there was a, a tsunami also which is also cause uh, which had impact on valdivia and some of the cities across chilean border right then they friction what kind of friction so when plates move towards each other definitely when they move towards each other they are going to have the friction right either they will be rubbing against each other if they are moving against each other then also some part of the tectonic plate will have that kind of friction so when they create friction definitely it will create force and that releasing of the force cause earthquake right build up of pressure now how the pressure is going to be built up one plate south american plate one is nazca plate they are moving towards each other so this way they struck right now because nazca plate is a is an oceanic plate so it is subducting under right so it will create pressure right both the plates are struck and one is moving under the another plate nazca plate is moving under the south american plate so they create they kept on building the pressure and that kind of pressure when released it caused vibrations sudden shocking of the earth that is the earthquake right so this is what happened now you can see over here that this is this is the diagram which talks about the subduction so nazca plate is moving under the south american plate now whatever the here this portion whatever the sediments are there on under the see those sediments used to come up and that has formed and this mountain so that is why there is a fold mountain right it is not a it is not a volcanic mountain fold mountain you know fold means series of fold one range second third and number of and a lot of ranges right so one fold second third fourth this way exactly like himalaya so it has formed a series of fold which becomes one single range that is called andes Ma fold mountain right so that has formed the subduction of nazca plate carrying those sediments here south american plate is also very big plate so they have compressed and due to that compression the sediments have started coming up that has formed the series of fold that is andes fold mountain range okay uh, so this is this diagram is talking about that right these are the terminology which you have to use okay and this is the diagram if you will remember the diagram it will be easy for you to well, describe because what is there uh, if you remember the diagram you know it becomes easy either you remember the diagram and write the answer or you remember the answer and then directly write right if you have diagram like this this is a kind of mind map this should be struck in your mind should be photographed in your mind that whenever you talk about like with your you know closed eye you are thinking about the causes of chilean earthquake this diagram should be there in front of you in front of your mind in front of your eyes so that you can describe that what has happened right and these are the terminology which you should note down because you have to use these terms to describe the uh, causes of chilean earthquake right in the beginning i told you about the case study uh, this is the description okay 
uh, Pacific plate is over here. Now this portion north of America, you know, that is Central America, Mexico and uh, Caribbean island and all everything is over here. This entire region is very active because that entire coast starting from North America, Central America, South America, this way uh, from the Antarctic plate boundary, this entire entire region forms a ring that is ring of fire right the ring of fire is the most active region in the world in terms of earthquakes and volcano right so this is what Nazca plate a minor plate south american plate a continental plate oceanic plate is subducting under south american plate and that is causing earthquakes right 123 earthquakes are registered in chile right and that is every year it used to have earthquake. This is like all the entire region in the world, wherever you will find constructive plate, uh, uh, conversion plate boundaries, destructive plate boundaries, the earthquakes are bound to happen over there, right? I'll be putting some images here, which will help you to, you know, to realize because I don't have this uh, smart board, otherwise I could have used different images and this diagram. Right? But I will be putting some images of this region so that the, ask, the, the understanding can become very clear. Okay, So the causes of earthquake is fault lines are there, tectonic plates are there, subduction zones are there, uh, the pressure and friction is there. Sometimes they form constructive plate boundaries, sometimes they form destructive plate boundaries and both in both the cases you will find that areas experience earthquakes. But wherever con conversion and destructive plate boundaries are involved, it will have massive earthquake. That is what happened in Chile. Okay. Now I want you all to write down the entire answer. Okay. So I am dictating it. Fine. I usually don't do that. You can use the image and write the answer. Okay. I'll be putting one photograph of this image also in this video so that you can you know pause and see that what is what is there in south america right so let us uh you if you wish you can note down the entire answer this is a seven mark answer this is level three answer i'm i'm dictating a level three answer uh you'll not get less than five that is i'm sure but mostly you may get most of you if you will remember this way then you may get seven out of seven so there are three level level one level two and level three in case three answers uh, if you are writing perfectly everything, then you may get 7 out of 7. That is a level 3 answer. Okay. So, I have this, uh, the answer is with me. I want you all to uh, see. I want you all to write the answer. Okay. So, the question is, describe the causes of an earthquake which occurred in a named area which you have studied. Use comprehensive and accurate statements including some place specific references okay this is the question name of area is chile okay it is actually the country so what you can write is the uh, western coast coast of chile you can write the andes mountain range of chile you can write waldivian waldivian coast in chile then that that way it will become an area okay because area and country you can't write chile because chile is a country Okay, so this question is about an area. So you can write Valdivian coast, Chile, or Chilean coast and his mountain range. This way you can begin. Name of area is the western coast of Chile, or Valdivian coast, Chile, or and his mountain range, Chile. Fine. Now the question is the, the answer is uh, <coughs> the great Chilean earthquake that took place on May, 9, uh, May 22, 1960 is the longest, largest earthquake recorded in the 20th century. It lasts for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. To begin with, the Trillion earthquake occurred due to two conversion plate boundaries, the Nazca plate and the South American plate. These plates are converging at a rate of 80 millimeter per year. The Nazca plate was subducting under the South American plate. Make a correction. The Nazca plate is subducting under the South American plate and this caused tension between the two plates, which after releasing, releasing the pressure caused the Nazca plate to subduct 15 meter 
15 meter underneath the South American plate. The fault displacement source of the earthquake extended over an estimated 560 to 620 mile stretch of the Nazca plate. Moreover, this was a megathrust earthquake. The amount of friction between the plates was very high and it prevented the Nazca plate from sliding smoothly and it caused the South American plate to fracture while the Nazca plate subducted under it. There was a release of mechanical stress by the subduction of Nazca plate under the South American plate along the Chile-Peru stretch. One important thing which I missed over here is there is a trench formed over here Peru Chile. Peru is also a country Chile. So this one is the trench. Okay. Now if there is a trench then there will be lesser impact but trenches do form on the conversion plate boundaries also. Next idea. Furthermore the force of the sudden movement along the stretch of the Nazca plate push the South American plate upward and the shock of this upward thrust caused a wave that moved upward in all directions. A sudden breaking in the rocks along a roughly 560 to 620 mile stretch of Nazca plate also was one of the cause of the great Chilean earthquake. So this is how you should write your case study answer. I hope you will like this case study okay i'll be coming up with another case study on the effects and impact of an earthquake that will be our second case study right so right now we have discussed about the causes of an earthquake the named area and all the causes we have discussed right this is also if it is it's not been asked in a case study this question can be of 3 and 5 mark where you need to describe the causes of earthquake, right? General answer, use this kind of terminology. These are the words which you have to use and definitely you will get full marks, right? I hope that you will like this session. Uh, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. This is E-Geo, everything is geography. Since then, have a nice day.